Um, thank you very much. Uh, Secretary General, uh, how long do you think it will take you to persuade the other European countries to burden share? And what are you going to do to persuade them? Uh, Mr. President, could I ask you, um, I like do you that think question. it's... I'm here to help. And, um, what, and Mr. President, do you think it's conceivable, what's your instinct, was it possible that Syrian forces could have launched that attack in Idlib last week without the Russians knowing? And have you been disappointed, surprised by Vladimir Putin's reaction since then? Thank you very much. I think it's certainly possible. I think it's probably unlikely. And I know they're doing investigations into that right now. Uh, I would like to think that they didn't know, but certainly they could have. They were there. So we'll find out. General Mattis is looking into it with the entire Pentagon group that does that kind of work. So uh, I, I, it was very disappointing to see. It's disappointing no matter who does it. But when you get into the gases, especially that form, it's, it's vicious and violent. And everybody in this room saw it all too many times over the last three or four days. Young children dying, babies dying, fathers holding children in their arms that were dead, dead children. Uh, there can't be a worse sight, and it shouldn't be allowed. That's a butcher. That's a butcher. So I felt we had to do something about it. I have absolutely no doubt we did the right thing. And uh, it was very, very successfully done, as you well know. Thank you.